Hey guys, we are back with our third cup in our alcohol ink series. This one is a little bit more um, advanced. So this one may be, again, this one may be a longer video. Um, you know, I've tried to make my videos like 15 minutes, 12 to 15 minutes, and I, I, it's impossible for me. So this, this technique is called a color melt. This is not my technique. I actually learned this off of a creator on TikTok, and I've done a few of them, and they turn out so pretty. Um, this one, I actually had to take notes, so because I, I, I would forget how to do it. So this is a base that I've actually, this was a tumbler, I actually, I, uh, I stripped it, and I did a tack it method, and I put, damn, from Go Glitter on top of it, and I, this is just an epoxied uh, glitter cup. So that's all this this base is, and you can actually start this on a stainless steel base and just throw some uh, epoxy colorant in your epoxy if you want to. Um, for this one, we are using KS Resin Liquidy Split, which is their fast set, so you have to work kind of fast on this cup. So, what we're going to do, you use alcohol inks, micas, and then you're going to use some type of white um, in, a, in a cup of epoxy. Um, you just need a little bit, but you'll, you'll see why here in just a little bit. So, I've mixed up 60 milliliters of epoxy. I'm going to take and I'm just going to put probably 10 milliliters in each one of these. Um, this is going to be for our mica. You don't need a ton in your mica cups, and I need to move that over here to my paper. And I have y'all a little bit further back this time, just so you can see this whole cup, because this cup is big. This is a, this is either a 30 or a 35 ounce cup. I can't remember which. So I've got, you're going to need uh, at least three colors for this cup. So I'm going to go ahead and get this epoxy put on here. You're going to need at least three colors for this cup. Um, you can use more, but three is a good, good starting point. So We'll go ahead and get this put on here. But what we're going to do first is we are going to, after we get this, this epoxy on here, we are going to put our, we're going to drop our alcohol inks. And they're going to be dropped in, in, in order. So, and I'll put uh, down at the bottom of this video, like I did that first video, the colors of the alcohol ink. Um, there are some that I may have a discount code for. Uh, the alcohol inks, no, I'm not going to have a discount code for any of those. Because I'm not using... Uh, the only alcohol inks I offer, I have a discount code for is um, T-Rex. So, I'm putting what I had left on top here. And you're going to use a lot of epoxy on this cup, so make sure you mix up plenty. The first few I did, I didn't, uh, I didn't mix up enough epoxy, and it was kind of a pain. All right, so you have to, like I said, you have to move a little bit quick on this. So we're going to go ahead and get started here. <clears throat> I'm going to torch this get rid of any bubbles that I've got. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and mix our micas. Um, I am using, I'm using, I'm doing a blue, pink, and silver one. So I'm using Poppin' Pink from Glitter Heart Co. There is codes down below for, for these. And I am almost out. I think I'm about to be out of that one. So that's what it, it's, it's like a hot pink color. And we are out of that one. And then I'm using Midnight Blue from Glitter Heart Co. 
And this one is literally, it's, it's a midnight blue. It's a dark blue. And then for my silver, I don't have any silver micas. So I am using an, an interference, an interference powder um, that's silver. It, what it does is it, it gives the epoxy like a silver pearlescent color. So I need to see if I can find some silver mica somewhere. And it just, I'm going to mix these up really quick so they're ready to go. And I probably should have mixed up like 80 milliliters of epoxy. But, because I didn't think about I'm using such a big, a big cup. So what we're going to do first, okay, sorry about that guys, I had to mix that up real quick. What we're going to do first is we're going to drop our alcohol inks on here. Um, I'm going to start with the pink, I want the pink on top. So we're just, and I'm sorry about this right here, it's the my top turner of, so you're going to do this in sections. You want that kind of saturated up there with the pink. And I'm going to do the silver in the middle. I hope I have some silver left in here. And again, there's no like rhyme or reason to this. And then I'm going to do the blue at the bottom. Again, you just want that kind of saturated. And I hope that I'm doing this justice to the creator that, that actually did this. Um, also, you do need a white swirl. So I've just got some regular epoxy. Um, you've seen me use this in the other video. I'm just putting some of my... Um, white dispersion color in here from Illumilite. Um, you can use like Apple Barrel white. That's not a big deal. You can do that. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take and put our micas color coordinating on top. That needs to be mixed a little bit more. On top here. And again, I told you you're going to use this. This is why I should have mixed up more epoxy. I just started doing these, and they I love them, but I still get it wrong with, with the epoxy. So I would say if you're using, and, and again, I didn't realize I'm, I was using a 30-ounce cup, but again, um... If you're using a 30 ounce tumbler like this one, I think this is this is either a 30 or a 35. You want to mix up like twice as much. Maybe even more than that. So then we're going to use go in with our white that has the silver interference color in it. And you want more than this. This I hope this works. Cuz I did not get enough here. And then our blue on the bottom. That blue mica on that blue epoxy looks really pretty. Then you're going to take your white and you're going to separate with a line the colors. It doesn't have to be perfect. It can be a little bit messy if you want. It's not that not that big of a deal. You, you, 
All right, then we are going to go in. <clears throat> For this part, you want to use a zip tie. I am out of zip ties. So I'm going to use a popsicle stick. But you want to take, take your zip tie, in my case a popsicle stick, and you just want to run the colors together like this. You just kind of do a zigzag pattern. This is me improvising because I'm out of... because I'm out of um, zip ties. I guess I could have waited and done this one. I had a zip tie, but I got excited about it. So same thing over here. I'm just holding my popsicle stick kind of flat and just going in a zigzag pattern. And you can make this as long or as short as you want. It doesn't necessarily, this is all gonna blend together. Then we're going to stick our gloves on. And we're going to pull this off the turner. I say this video is going to be faster, but this, this is the longest part right here. So we're going to pull this off the turner. And we are going to let it run together. So let me see if I can... We are just going to let it run. You want gloves for this part because you will get... And since you're using a fast set, it kind of goes a little bit, a little bit slower. You can heat it up if you want to get it to run. Or at least I do, because I'm I can't work with fast set that quick. You don't want to use too much heat, but you can heat it up where it'll run together. You want these colors basically. You want the you're gonna want these colors to mix together. So I'm just heating that up a little bit. And if I get out of frame, guys, I'm sorry. It's hard to do this. And and you can kind of see it running a little bit. You want the blue to run down into the pink. You want the pink to run down into the blue. And you can do this with regular set. Um, I did do it with regular set. The only difference is with the regular set epoxy, it uh, it runs quite a bit more and a lot longer. So I don't want all that blue running off. So I want to hold it back up here. And then you just let it run until you like the way it looks. So, here's my mistake. Had I used enough epoxy on the base and with the micas, this would run a lot more. Um, so again, you want to see it dripping off the bottom there. You want to um, make sure, make, make super sure that you're using enough epoxy. So I'm going to let that pink run down into that blue. And if you use enough epoxy, this will run together quite a bit. I'll show you another one that I made. Um, if you use enough epoxy, you do not have to heat it up. So... Because you have plenty of... Oh, that was my heat gun that just fell on the floor. It actually fell on my heat press. So, so if you use enough epoxy, you normally will not have to heat it up because the epoxy will just flow off. 
you want to get if you're using a 20 ounce tumbler you want to you you want to get at least 25 to 30 ounces of epoxy or milliliters on your cup and if you're using a if you're using a 30 ounce you want to get at least 35 to 40 milliliters on your on your cup so but I think that's as good as it's going to get for this one I just didn't have enough on the bottom but see how the colors just kind of melt together like a candle it, it turns out looking really pretty and I'm sure that pink on the camera probably looks like red but it's not it's really pink but again you can use whatever colors you want and if you do use enough epoxy again you don't have to heat it up it will run off you want to make sure that your when you put your micas on that there's enough epoxy in there but you get the gist of it I wanted you to get the gist of it so I'm gonna put this one back on our turner because it's pretty much done moving and I'll let you just kind of look at that and see how that kind of blended together that actually turned out really pretty for me not using enough epoxy um, here's one that I did and I actually put glitter on top of it um, it turned out it needs another coat of epoxy but it turned out really pretty as well it's a, a purple and teal color but I actually put glitter on this one so there's there's one that I've done um, let me bring you in a little bit closer you can see how this how this kind of looks this actually turned out really pretty I'm, I'm, I'm happy with it just again I haven't done a ton of these but I was excited to show you guys this um, design because it's it's really cool and see that's still moving a little bit right there which is fine so but that right there guys is a it's called a color melt again just make sure you use enough epoxy um, double check your color wheel before you do your color so they don't muddy up other than that you're good to go so um, I didn't tell you the colors of alcohol inks that I used but I'll, I'll go I'll list them down below they're Woody's goodies and, and Marabou so I'll list them down below but if you guys have any questions on this style um, leave me a comment below and we'll see what we can do to help and um, again thank you for joining me for this series we've got one more coming as soon as that glitter cup is done and then we will we'll be done with this series and move on to something else so I will see you guys in the next one and I hope you all have a wonderful week bye I wanted to come back and show you guys um, the tumbler is not it's not completely dry yet but it has stopped moving so this is what it's gonna look like um, this is going to be the final tumbler so um, these color melts again are really fun this turned out really really pretty I'm super excited about it um, even with not using enough epoxy still turned out good um, so I just wanted to come back and show you guys what the finished tumbler will look like so this will need one or two more coats of epoxy and it will be done so um, if you guys have any questions again leave them in the comments and I will see you next time bye